We've all seen the iconic image of Black Lives Matter Patrick Hutchinson uh, carrying a white man to safety. Uh, in fact, it's hard to avoid the picture which has been seized upon by the media and beamed around the world uh, for propaganda purposes. The point, though, is was it real or was it staged? And when I first saw the video of it, my initial reactions were A, this is just the sort of thing the left-wing media will welcome as it completely changes the narrative of violent Black Lives Matter protesters and B, the white man doesn't seem to be injured in the slightest, uh, leading quite logically to C, is this a white helmet style piece of staged propaganda? So I did some research and what I found suggests the whole thing might well have been stage managed. Uh, Patrick Hutchinson, the good Samaritan with bulging biceps and the facial bone structure of a Marvel comic book hero, was just too good to be true, surely. In his many interviews, he claimed he had not intended to go to the protest at all, but changed his mind at the last minute, uh, as did, rather conveniently, several members of his crew uh, from ARC Protection Services, a firm I can find no record of. He also claimed to be a fitness coach, which is true, as verified uh, by Wimbledon's Hercules Athletic Club, but close protection and sprint training seemed to be his hobbies rather than his actual job, which according to LinkedIn is a senior project manager at Universal Private Equity Limited. Uh, Mr Hutchinson, when he's not wearing studded black gloves to peaceful Black Lives Matter protests, uh, seems more at home in a suit and tie, having worked for the last 15 years for international financial institutions uh, such as Nomura and Rabobank, which seems a little odd since Black Lives Matter UK, in their own words, seek to dismantle capitalism. Even odder, though, is the fact that Mr Hutchinson's current boss at Universal Private Equity is a man called David Wilkes Carmichael, who just over a month ago set up Black Lives Matter UK Limited and who is presumably the man behind the Black Lives Matter GoFundMe page, which has now raised over a million pounds by the donations of uh, credulous teenage white girls with the benefit of a private education. I suppose it is just possible Mr Hutchinson really did intervene uh, to stop some peaceful anti-racist Black Lives Matter protesters from beating a man to death because of the colour of his skin, but if this is not the case, uh, if it was actually a stage-managed event, it would explain his reluctance uh, to admit he works for David Wilkes Carmichael, a white man uh, who established Black Lives Matter UK, and I suppose he thinks that by admitting to this very odd coincidence, the media might start asking awkward questions as to whether this was a stage-managed event. But he really doesn't need to worry about that at all. The media have got their story. They've changed the entire narrative of the protests and they have no interest whatsoever in digging for the truth because the real truth, the actual truth of these protests was far left activists, both black and white, masquerading as anti-racist, beating up policemen, half killing a police woman as a result of attacking her horse, uh, seriously beating up white counter-protesters once they were alone and vulnerable, tearing down our statues and our heritage, desecrating the cenotaph and desecrating Winston Churchill's statue, all in the name of far-left communist ideology. That, that is the reality. But the traitor class media have been gifted the means of rewriting reality and they've done just that. Far-right white thugs, good Samaritan, anti-racist, Black Lives Matter. How very convenient it was for Mr Hutchinson to rescue this uninjured man under the flashbulbs of the media. So I'll finish with a question for the media. Is there a single man or woman amongst you who will ask Mr Hutchinson about his direct involvement with Mr David Wilkes Carmichael and whether this relationship led to a stage-managed event? No. No, I thought not. You are all 
all of you beneath contempt. You're rewriting of reality in order to undermine your country and your heritage is precisely why I call you the traitor class. And one last thing addressed to Patrick Hutchinson. Uh, now your relationship with David Wilkes Carmichael has been exposed, will you be changing your LinkedIn account in order to hide it, uh, including the detail to the top left, which looks suspiciously to me like the edge of an Antifa flag. If you keep it up, your, your LinkedIn stuff, if you keep that up, then perhaps we might think that you're for real. But if you take it down, I think we'll know exactly what you are and what you did.